Let me tell you, yesterday we were not ready to go on a camping adventure. But now, let's pack the truck. <laughs> I have everything. I'm really not confident. I'm pretty confident, but it's like the one thing you know you're gonna miss. I don't know, we'll see. So we bought some water, we bought some food, we bought a tent, we bought chairs, we were, we're going to buy a propane tank so we can cook. We bought a burner. Yeah. We, like things that we should have had, but we haven't. So we completely fully kitted ourselves. It's with. our first camping, actual camping trip here in Kenya. We have no equipment, now we think. Yeah. We have enough equipment, but yeah. only time will tell. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so basically we want to create more flexibility so that's what happened with us buying all these tents and stuff although it's the first time that we're actually gonna be putting the tents together kind of being completely self-sufficient uh, <laughs> we've never done camping together ever no we haven't and fun fact that you probably don't know is David hates camping I hate it <laughs> so um, let's let's see how this goes hopefully we're still together when we come back eh? probably <laughs> So we just arrived at the campground at one stop Nanyuki yeah. and while we were checking in the lady at the front desk was really really strongly trying to convince to convince us not to camp and to use one of their cottage. She was like, I'll we give it to you at available. the same price. You shouldn't <laughs> camp because it's too cold. But you know what? We're Canadians and like I said in the last video, well our, our blood is like ice. I so. mean I did just put my jacket on. It's a, but I think okay, that's fine. Okay, it's a little chilly. But you know what? We're we fine. we went on a camping trip. This is a camping trip, therefore we will stay in a tent. Oh yeah, no, I'm not worried about that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first step is we're gonna build the tent. We have like a new latch too. Anyways, um and no make fun of us, because it's brand new, it's our first time doing this. So I think it's gonna be easy. I think it's gonna be just fun. This is literally like a a couples therapy kind of exercise. We'll see how it goes. Tent is up and it took what? Like not even 10 minutes. We, we're pretty good at this. And now Chase is gonna put the air mattress that we also bought. And does it fit size wise? Yeah, but I thought it was bigger too. Okay. Well, it fits. That's I the only thing that matters. Because when we first saw the tent, we we're like, oh, is it is it big enough for a double mattress? Apparently it is. Now we just got to blow it oh, up. Get my it's going to take a while. <laughs> she wants your big muscles. It's going to take a while. <laughs> I would love to help her, but somebody's got to film. So... <laughs> We're getting our bed set up, but just in case, because air mattresses get really cold, so you need something over them. We're gonna try this. I don't know how good it's gonna be, but we're gonna try. The main reason why we're pretty confident that we're not gonna be cold overnight is because Tracy brought a full bucket of like everything you can imagine, like fleece, blankets, cover, okay. whatever. I think we're gonna be nice and warm. Plus, you know, I'm, I'm pretty hot, like There's just overall. <laughs> Why? <laughs> There's nothing worse than being cold camping. So if you do one thing right, make sure you bring enough to stay warm and dry. Then everything else you can deal with. But if you're cold, it makes for a bad time. <laughs> and food, of course, because that's even worse than being cold. Hungry, no good. Okay, great. If I say so myself. <laughs> The bucket which had the blankets in them, um, I've had this bucket for like probably a decade. But I always thought this sticker was funny. It tells you to not put your kid in the bucket j j just in case you, you know. There's a reason they put that there. Probably. Just saying. Yeah, probably. Saying. Well, Tracy, now that everything is set up, you know what this means? R room tour. <laughs> you gotta give us a room tour. I did. No, no, you gotta do a proper one. 
This is the main bedroom. This is our lovely seating area. We're missing a table yet because it can double as our kitchen as well. We'll probably cook right there. This is our storage and junk closet because we haven't figured out how to organize it yet. That's all right. And it doubles as our home on wheels. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go check out the front of the property. There's camping spots all around it, um, but there's a lot of shops and I think there's even a restaurant at the front. So, I don't know, we got nothing else to do. Let's go explore. And let's take a second to appreciate this beautiful sunset. I'm very impressed because like, it was rainy, cold, wet all day. So really this, was. this is really nice. Talk to came through. Yeah, happy that it came through. <laughs> so they even have accommodations on this property as well called the Shepherd's Hut. So they're little, like, tiny homes, I guess? Uh, this is one of the camping spots that we could have actually stayed at, but we wanted to be more in a field. More camping. <laughs> so yeah, not gonna go in it because it's obviously closed, but they're just little huts. They look pretty cute. So there's even, like, a soccer field here, a little playground. Looks like a place that you can either have picnics. Oh, maybe it's attached to the restaurant. That could be it. But anyways, it's quite a big property. It's pretty cool. So it looks like this is where some shops can be. Um, they're all kind of closed right now because 6.30, almost seven o'clock. But this is the restaurant. I hear they have pizza. So obviously we did bring a lot of food. We planned all our meal in advance while we were at home. Which is why we have to eat it tonight because I don't want it to go to waste. Yes. <laughs> but we still just order a little pizza diavola For on the dessert. side. <laughs> For dessert? As an appetizer? As a little side? We'll see what one's ready first. <laughs> Whatever we want it to be. But you know, we can't give you a proper review of a place if we don't test the food. At least a little something. You know what? And the coffee shop, hopefully it's open tomorrow by the time we leave. Oh yeah. Maybe I'll get a good coffee. Perfect. So now let, let's go start our own food. Yeah. So we just got one of those. Tracy bought a burner at car four yesterday, so hopefully, hopefully it's gonna work. Okay, let's see. That is windy. Ta-da! I made it. Time to go see if our pizza's ready. I got the pizza. So the rice is done. Um, I pre-cooked chili and like use them as freezer meals, so that's what we're doing. So I just need that to thaw out and then that will be ready. But I see pizzas here. Yummy. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, let's see if this is any good. Okay, my turn. That's very good. Honestly, any food camping is really, really good. This is good. Some chili. Well, camping chili. Yeah. I feel like it, where it's cold, we needed a hearty meal like... Like pizza. And chili. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them. It's a little chilly out, but I think we're gonna be just fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot how spicy this chili was. Supper done. Now time to brush your teeth and, and go into the tent. See, see how great it is and warm it is in there. Welcome to our luxurious master bedroom. It's so cozy. It is cozy and like right now it is not cold at all. We're totally like shielded from the wind. There's like but, no wind yeah. coming through at all. But I know that like, you know, it's probably going to get a little bit chillier over the yeah. night, but I really think we're going to be fine. Oh yeah. I have like no doubt. Canadian strong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so time for us to go to bed mm -hmm. and we're going to see you guys in the morning or in the middle of the night if we're freezing and have to go sleep in the truck. <laughs> that would take a lot. Should be fine. That would be fine. See you in the morning. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Good morning. What a beautiful sunrise. Kind of. It's a little bit cloudy, oh, a little yeah. bit chilly. But we slept 
just fine. I literally was like too warm at one point. I had to take the blankets off me. <laughs> and finally, coffee's ready. It looks really, really, really strong. And I also didn't bring sugar in case I need it. Whoops. <laughs> what you doing? Trying to deflate the mattress and use myself as a rolling pin. <laughs> but it's not working out that well. Huh, that's easiest. Okay. Okay, so couples therapy exercise number two, putting this uh, this baby down. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, don't get me wrong, it doesn't look exactly how we bought it, but still, that was really fast, so I'm, I'm happy with that. So that was night one of camping, but sadly, not the last one. It's gonna get better. <laughs> <laughs> better and better. So right now, we, we are all packed up, we're ready to go. Overall, yeah. a big thank you to One Stop for having us. Yeah. It was, it, it, it's nice. It's a great spot, especially they, if you're going to where we're going and you want to stop halfway? Yeah, that's true. Fantastic. And they have everything. They even have like a veterinarian, a soccer yeah, field, it's like stores, a bit of a... good pizza. Yeah. So really a good place to stop on your way somewhere else. Let's go. We're going to see you guys in Samburu.